Emerson Umnengogwa, the president of Zimbabwe, will compete against the former leader of the party who fled the country six years ago during a coup in the general election scheduled for August 23rd. President Umnengogwa, Nelson Chomisa, and Xavier Kasukawe, a former high-ranking ZANU-PF official and supporter of the late Robert Mugabe, all successfully registered to run for president on Wednesday. By the time of publication, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC had not yet released the complete list of confirmed candidates but the three were widely regarded as the front-runners in the eagerly awaited polls. On the same day, Zimbabweans will also vote for representatives to the 350-seat parliament and for almost 2,000 positions on local councils. President Mnangogwa, 80, will run for what would be his final term in government. And Mr. Chomisa, a lawyer and pastor who is the head of the Citizens' Coalition for Change, is once again anticipated to provide a formidable challenge CCC. The country's national election. Scheduled for August 23rd, will pit Zimbabwe President Emerson Mnangogwa against a former ruling party veteran who was banished following a coup six years ago. President Mnangogwa, Nelson Chamisa, and Xavier Kasukawe, a former high-ranking ZANU-PF official and supporter of the late Robert Mugabe, all successfully registered to run for president on Wednesday. By the time of publication, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC had not yet released a complete list of confirmed candidates, but the three were widely regarded as the front-runners in the eagerly awaited polls. On the same day, Zimbabweans will also vote for representatives to the 350-seat parliament and for almost 2,000 positions on local councils. President Mnangogwa, 80, will run for what would be his final term in government. And Mr. Chomisa, a lawyer and pastor who is the head of the Citizens' Coalition for Change, is once again anticipated to provide a formidable challenge CCC. The contested 2018 presidential election was held nearly nine months after a coup that deposed Mr. Mugabe, who had ruled Zimbabwe since its independence in 1980. The 45-year-old opposition leader narrowly lost the poll. Mr. Kasukawe was one of the many supporters of the seasoned leader who were exiled as a result of the coup. He sent lawyers to file his nomination paperwork, but it was unclear if he had since traveled back to Zimbabwe from South Africa. President Mnangogwa told reporters at the nomination court in Harare. The process is going well, and I'm delighted Zimbabwe is now a mature democracy. It's quite tranquil, he continued. This is what we want and should continue to do now, during the electoral process. And after the election. Six individuals were killed by soldiers during the most recent elections while protesting the publication of the presidential election results on the streets of Harare. Moreover, President Mnangogwa has been charged with employing oppressive measures, like as imprisoning opposition leaders and passing oppressive legislation to quell any challenge to his reign. Chamisa is certain she will win. Despite complaints about potential errors on the voter list and the intimidation of opposition supporters, Mr. Chamisa said he was confident of victory. Outside the nomination court, Mr. Chomisa declared, the bigger the challenges, the greater the dimension of our courage, boldness, and tenacity to ensure we win. There have only been two presidents of Zimbabwe since its separation from Britain. Zimbabwe cannot possibly continue to be how it is. Victory is unavoidable, and change is in the air. President Mnangogwa attempted to portray himself as a progressive soon after the coup. But he is now accused of being more authoritarian than Mr. Mugabe, who was once a close ally during his lengthy iron-fisted tenure. He is also charged with breaking commitments to resolve Zimbabwe's protracted economic issues, which date back more than two decades. The nation is dealing with a fresh currency crisis, a dramatic rise in the cost of necessities, and high unemployment rates. There have only been two presidents of Zimbabwe since its separation from Britain. Due to alleged election fraud and human rights breaches, the nation has been isolated by the international community for 20 years. This has resulted in economic sanctions from Western nations such as the United States, the European Union, and the United Kingdom.